Hello and welcome to our daily learning video. Today's letter is letter T. T is for T-Rex dinosaur. We are going to do science first today. I have a dinosaur egg. Well, actually it's a balloon, <laughs> but I put a toy inside and then I fill the balloon with water and then I tied it and put it in the freezer and look what happened. It's hard like a rock. So what we're going to do is we're going to open this balloon up. Let me get my scissors to see. I think I'll need my scissors to help me. So let's open up the balloon. Oh, wow, look at this. It's frozen in there. Look at that, that's our dinosaur egg. And there's something, I see something inside there. Well, we're gonna let this dinosaur egg sit over here all during our lesson today. And then at the end, we'll take a look at it and we'll see what it looks like, okay? All right, so let's get back to our learning time. We're gonna learn about the letter T. This is letter T for T-Rex. And if your name has letter T, stand up, find us. If your name has letter T, stand up. If your name has letter T, if your name has letter T, if your name has letter T, stand up. <laughs> well, I'm gonna decorate my letter T with T-Rex tracks. Now, if you have a toy dinosaur, you might wanna dip the feet into some paint and make it walk across and make some tracks on your T. But I don't have a toy dinosaur, so I'm going to show you also how to draw T-Rex tracks. You can make a letter U, and then right at the top of that, make a W, and then color it in. Okay, let's do another one. Letter U, and then W. Color it in. I'll make another one over here. These are T-Rex tracks. Now, dinosaurs aren't around anymore. So how do we know they even existed? Well, we can find the tracks that they left behind. And also we can find fossils. That's the remains of dinosaurs, like their bones. So this is, ta-da, this is a letter T with T-Rex tracks on there or footprints. Okay, so now that we can recognize letter T, we're gonna learn how to write it. And I'll show you. First, we're gonna need a number one. Number one. And then we're gonna give it a top. So it looks like a number one with a top. Can you try to make a letter T? I'll show you what it looks like on handwriting paper. First make number one, upstairs and downstairs, and then give it a top. Make a line across the top. Number one with a top. Number one with a top. That's the uppercase big capital T. One with a top, you try. One with the top. One with the top. One all the way down with the top. Okay, I know you're doing a great job making your big letter T. I'm cheering for you. Now we're gonna make a little letter T. Now, I wanna ask you something first. Let's take a look at Weather Bear. He's wearing a belt. Is the belt on his head? No, 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 no. Is the belt on his feet? No, 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 no. Where's the belt? 
right in the middle. So to make the little letter T, we're going to make a number one with a belt right in the middle. <laughs> number one with a belt. Can you try to make a little letter T? One with a belt. First write number one, and then give it a belt right in the middle. One with a belt. One with a belt. One with a belt. Number one, and then a line right in the middle. This is the little t or lowercase t. Let's make two more. One with a belt. One with a belt. Okay, I'm going to cheer for you because I know you did a great job practicing. And I'm going to also give you a sticker. That's for your handwriting time. Good, good job. <laughs> well, now we know what letter T looks like. We know how to write letter T. So it's time to talk about the sound that letter T makes. Letter T makes this sound. T, 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 t. Can you make that sound too? T, 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 t. Letter T makes the sound t, 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 like a ticking clock. T, 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 t. Well, we always do some kind of activity or game. Today we're going to do a song to help us practice that sound. This song is called a ticking clock song. So let's do this together and you can go back and forth like that, like a ticking. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> Hi there, you know someone once said, take time to laugh. What does the clock in the hall say? Tick-tock, tick-tock. What does the clock on the wall say? Tick-tock, tick-tock. Ticka, 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 tock. What does the clock in the hall say? Tick-tock, tick-tock. What does the clock on the wall say? Tick-tock, 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 tick-tock. Ticka, 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 what does letter T say? T, 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 like a ticking clock. Well, now that we know that sound, we're going to use it to blend and read some real words today. You can help me sing the vowel song if you want to. It goes like this. A, E, I, O, U. A, E, I O U A E I O U. These are the vowels. Well, we're going to put letter T in front of each of these vowels and we're going to do some blending and reading. First, I see letter T beside letter A. And what does letter A sound like? Ah, ah. Ah, as an achoo. So let's put those two sounds together. T, ah, ta, 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 ta. What if we put a letter G at the end? Letter G makes this sound g, 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 g like gulping water. Tag, 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 tag. Like when you run around and chase your brother or sister or friend and you play tag. The next T is beside an E. And what does E say? Eh? What did you say, Sonny? Eh? Eh? <laughs> so let's blend. Eh, te, te, te. Let's learn a 
a new reading rule today. I'm going to put two L's at the end. Hmm. Does that mean I'm going to say, uh, uh, no, 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 no. I'm not going to make that sound two times. In fact, I think I'm going to X out one of those L's. I don't need to hear that sound. I just need it once. I'm just going to say, uh, one time. I'm not going to say, uh, uh, no, 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 no. So this is a new reading rule. When you see two letters that are the same, you're only going to make that sound one time. So now let's try to read this word. Ta tell, 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 tell. Like I'm going to tell you what a great job you're doing. Next is T with letter I. And what does letter I say? I, 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 like an icky sticky lollipop. I. So let's put these sounds together. T, I, T, 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 like tick tock. Next is T with letter O, and what does O sound like? Ah, uh, O says ah uh, at the doctor. So let's put those sounds together. T, ah, uh, ta, ta, like tick tock. Last is T with letter U, and U has a tummy ache, and U says, uh, uh, uh. Okay, let's blend. T, uh, ta, ta. Let's put another letter at the end and try to read another real word. Letter B makes this sound. Like popping bubbles. Tub, 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 like the bathtub. Well, you did a great, great job today with our letter time. So now it's going to be time for some math. For math today, we are going to be looking for dinosaurs. We're going to there. First dinosaur that we're going to look for is this one right here that has wings. So let's see if we can find all the dinosaurs with wings and we'll color those. I'm going to color mine orange. If you're sharing with me on the screen, you can point to the dinosaurs that have wings. Hmm, do you see another one? <gasps> There's one. Dinosaurs with wings are called pterodactyls. Okay, do you see another pterodactyl? Right there, good job. Can you see another one? Mm-hmm, got it up here. Color it for us. And is there one more pterodactyl? I think so too, here it is. Okay, now how many orange pterodactyls did we find? One, two, three, four, five. So here's how you use a bar graph. You're going to color one space for each pterodactyl that we found. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Next, we're going to be looking for this dinosaur that has three horns. Can you find the dinosaurs with three horns? Here's one. You see another one? 
right here. Okay. A dinosaur with three horns is called a triceratops. Do you see another triceratops? Okay, I see it. I'll color it. I'm coloring this one pink. One more right here. So how many pink dinosaurs did we color? One, two, three, four. So let's color four spaces. One, two, three, four. Four pink dinosaurs. Okay, next we're gonna look for this dinosaur that has a really long neck. Can you find the dinosaurs with long necks? Here's one right here. I think I'll color these green. Do you see another one? Yep, right there. The dinosaur's long neck can help it reach up to the leaves at the tops of the trees. Okay, so how many green dinosaurs? One, two. So let's color in two spaces on our bar graph. One, two. Okay, now we're going to look for the T-Rex dinosaur. Here's one right here. Here's one. Do you see any more T Rex dinosaurs? One more. Oh, I see it way down here. Okay, I'll color it. Now, how many blue T Rex dinosaurs did we color? One, two, three. So let's color in three spaces. One, two, Three. Now a bar graph is so cool because we can answer questions easily. Everything is organized. So let me ask you a couple of questions. Which color dinosaur did we have the most of? Which had more, more, more the most? Was it orange, pink, green, or blue? Orange, orange had the most. Which color dinosaur had the least or not the most? Just a few, not very many. The dinosaur with the least was the green one. Very good. Which dinosaur had four? Which color dinosaur? Which had only four? The pink, pink had four. And the last question is, how many T-Rexes did we see? We saw three T-Rexes on the bar graph. Well, you did a great job today with our math. I think it's time for a little brain break. So today's song is going to be Move Like a Dinosaur. Let's get ready. Move like a dinosaur. Munch with your jaws, munch. Move like the dinosaurs. That was so much fun to move like a dinosaur. Well, now it's time for us to make a dinosaur. So let's head over to the art table and I'll show you how. Okay, so here we are at the art table and I have this dinosaur printable and I'm going to color it first. I think I'm going to make my dinosaur green. But you could choose to make yours any color you want.
Okay, next we're gonna cut out the dinosaur. This is great for cutting practice because the lines are mostly all straight lines. Almost done. Feel free to pause and finish yours if you'd like to, or you can just watch and finish yours later. Okay, so now we have our dinosaur all cut out, but there's one more thing we need to cut. I'm gonna get really close so you can see. Look right beside the eyeballs, and you can see a line right there. We're gonna cut that out that line out right there let me show you again see that okay so this still doesn't quite look like a dinosaur it looks kind of like a flat smush dinosaur so we're going to make this stand up now so do you see this foot and this foot these two big back feet there and there we're going to bring those together so i'm going to turn this upside down and i'm going to bring this big back foot over to this big back foot. And then I'm just gonna press on the dinosaur's back like that. Okay, now this face still looks kind of flat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just also gonna fold that in the middle. Pull the face right between the eyes in the middle like that. So now I'm just gonna kind of stand up my dinosaur and take a look at that. He's super cute. He can stand up all by himself. <laughs> he made a little paper T-Rex. Pretty cool. Well, that was our art project for today. And I think it's time to go back over and check on our dinosaur egg. Okay, so let's take a look at what's happening with our dinosaur egg. Oh, wow, look at this. I'm starting to see it a lot better than before. And look in the dish. See that liquid down in there? Whoa, that's water. So how did that happen? Because we just put a solid block of ice in at the beginning. Well, water can have three forms. Water can be a solid, Water can be a liquid, like what you see is happening here. And water can also be a gas, like when mom or dad or grandmother is cooking something on the stove. Do you ever see steam rising up? That's water, but it's in its gas form. So when water gets cold enough, it turns to a solid, like this ice, and it's really hard. When it cools down, excuse me, when it warms up just a little bit, it turns back into water, like that liquid you can see in the bottom of this dish. Our ice is melting. You can even see some drops, drop, 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 <laughs> as our little dinosaur egg melts. Now, when water gets really heated up, it starts to boil, and that's when it turns into gas. So water can be solid like the ice, liquid like the water in the bottom of the dish, and the liquid like the water you drink or take a bath with. Or when it gets heated up, it can become a gas and float up to the sky. <laughs> well, that was our science for today, and now it's time for story time. And our story today is called, Have You Seen My Dinosaur? Have You Seen My Dinosaur? by John Sergal. Have you seen my dinosaur? He's large, he's green, he likes to roar. He sometimes likes a little drink. So have you seen him in the sink? 
or could he be outside the door? Please, have you seen my dinosaur? I have not seen your dinosaur. There's no such creature anymore. I have not seen him in the sink. He would not fit in there, I think. I know he's not outside the door. I have not seen your dinosaur. I've got to find my dinosaur. He's never once been lost before. He's hard to miss. He's very large. He's larger than a river barge. He likes to take a nap at four. Please help me find my dinosaur. I cannot find your dinosaur. There's no such thing, not anymore. A dinosaur cannot be found from deepest deep to highest ground. From shore to ship or ship to shore, you will not find your dinosaur. I lost my dinosaur today. Do you suppose he ran away? Could he be hanging from a kite? Or hiding someplace in plain sight? He likes to watch me comb my hair. This morning, though, he wasn't there. I thought that he was in the shower. Oh, he can shower for an hour. He might be in some big desk drawer. Please, have you seen my dinosaur? You say you've lost a dinosaur, a strange thing to be looking for. A thing as tall and wide as that, you won't find underneath a hat. If I were you, I'd get a cat, or a dog, or a bird, or a small white rat. Have you seen my dinosaur? It's tea time and his turn to pour. Now, let me see, what have we got? A lynx, some minx, an ocelot, plus two new, a kinkajou, camels with one hump or two, a big black bear from Baden-Baden, a Scottish beastie from Culloden, a shaggy yak from Far Bhutan, an upside-down orangutan, a fat wild boar from East Timor, but no, we have no dinosaur. There aren't any anymore. We do not have your dinosaur. Sorry. I need to see Professor Pew. I'm Pew. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a dinosaur. What kind is it you're looking for? His tail is longer than a mile. His neck is longer still. His smile gets wider every time I see him. You need to try the big museum. Is this the place where people say a dinosaur is on display? Sure is. Now, let me think. It's tough because we've got a lot of stuff. Look, statues made by ancient Greeks. To name them all would take me weeks. But not a single statue here is of a dinosaur, I fear. These paintings are all very rare. No photos, please. Stay back. Take care. No dinosaurs in here, I'm told, although our paintings are quite old. Of course, they're dusted now and then by trusted, well-trained handymen. Here, here's what you're looking for. Here's where we keep our dinosaur. It lived a long, long time ago, thousands of years or so. Thousands of years ago? No, 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 that can't be so. This isn't what I came to see. My dinosaur is five like me. A year ago, we both were four. Wherever is my dinosaur? I've got to find my dinosaur before he misses one meal more. But where a dinosaur might go is something no one seems to know. My mother did not have a clue. The fishermen did not come through. It stumped the whole police force, too. I got no further at the zoo. Or when I saw Professor Pew, the big museum had nothing new.
So what, oh, what am I to do? I think who I should ask is you. Have you seen my dinosaur? You have? Where is he? He's where? Oh, thank you so much. You helped me find my dinosaur. A dinosaur is a kid's best friend, but hide and seek is hard. The end. <laughs> Well, I hope you had some fun today with letter T for T-Rex. Looks like our own dinosaur egg is melting, turning from solid into liquid. That's something that maybe you'd like to try today. Put a toy inside a balloon, fill it with water, put tie it up, put it in the freezer, and wait overnight and check it in the morning. And you might have your very own dinosaur egg and you can see what's inside when it melts. I'll see you next time. I hope you have a great day. Goodbye.